got the topper um, back on the truck. It's not bolted in yet. As you can see, I haven't finished, um, ran out materials, but this area on the doors can be done uh, once it's already on the vehicle, so I'm not too worried about this. Um, but yeah, carpet kit's already uh, completed on the, on the topper. I'm happy with the results. Um, one thing, um, I did not finish uh, adding any uh, Velcro or tape behind this. It's only held up by these bolts. There's four bolts here that was already, I already had in there for other things. And it's kind of just like held up from these points here. And at the very back, that piece right there is holding up the back as well. Um, it'll be, it shouldn't be hard to drop this back down. It's just the four bolts on each side I got to take off. And I'll be able to drop this down. Add the, I haven't decided if I'm going to do the double sided tape. It's thinner. Or go with this uh, 3M dual lock stuff I have here um, up there. That way, if I ever need to drop it down, it would be a lot easier. Um, so, probably a lot of you guys want to know what shell this is. I think I mentioned early on. So, recap it's a 2007 Dodge Dakota, and it is, let me see if I can show it. It's pretty much centered up. You can see it doesn't sit on the bed rails. It is, you can see there's space here. It's not fully pushed in all the way. Um, you can see it's not all the way up, buttoned up against the, where it needed to be because uh, I'm still, I got work on the back still. Um, so, so let's see here. Normally it would move forward another, what is that, like a inch and a half or so forward. And that basically puts the back of this flush with the lights and then that still leaves the gap here which I have um, stuff that I, I, I had before I'll be reusing but uh, upgrading it or making it more finished I guess you can say um, but yeah so back to this you can see it doesn't really sit on the bed it literally just I don't know a few uh, an eighth of an inch Actually, this side's not even on, on it. But the way the bed is, it's like, well, you can see it's bare. It doesn't fit. So, you know, unless you plan on doing some extra work, which at the time when I was looking for these shells, I wanted this specific shell. Well, the barn barn doors wasn't something I absolutely needed, but it was preferred. My biggest thing that I was looking for were these side doors. I wanted, they had to they had to have side doors on both sides. No windows was even better. Did not want any windows. Um, we do got the window back there that's covered up and I can still get to. It's got the security uh, mesh here. Biggest thing was security. I wanted this to be as hard um, to get into as possible. Um, all the doors have locks on them. Um, so anyways, what I did to get it to fit was I added a two by four on each side of the bed rail and matched it up and I drilled holes into the, the, the side of the, I guess if you, if you look on your truck, there's actually like a small lip that comes over and it's bolted in. So this is bolted in and that gave it the extended bed that I needed. You can see. So what that does is it allows the topper to sit, you know, supported where it needs to be. Um, then next thing was trying to figure out how to seal it because obviously having just a bed seal here isn't gonna keep the seal from, or getting the so it's not gonna keep it from not leaking in through here um, because the seal is only sitting on here, not so much here, so you may get a little bit of uh, water drippage plus these caps. I wanted to keep the caps. Um, well, obviously for the, this reason, because I don't, there's nothing sitting on here. So I needed to keep the caps. It looks more finished, but yeah, you'll get water intrusion through these caps here. Um, so I had to um, come up with another way. So this is uh, all of a sudden redoing the whole show. I had, um, I went and got uh, some play, uh, this is actually stainless steel. Got some stainless steel. Originally, I just went to uh, scrap yard to just get some metal, scrap metal basically. 
and this uh, plate is traced out for the the bed rail here and it's traced out into the inside so basically that's what sits here that gives it the a way for me to seal the bed and the, the added two by four and then that also gave me a place so we're a more rigid more rigid and more flat surface for the topper to sit on um, this is actually going to sit on the bed like this facing down and you can see the topper sits up here and then this is just a trim piece because of metal i have it actually protrudes past here a little bit and when i'm in here i didn't want to be hitting it and cutting myself on it but uh yeah this thing was painted primered and painted uh same color as the topper um but i had to strip the old weather seal that was on here um and i uh, went a little overkill this time uh, if I had more material, if this stuff wasn't so expensive, I would run another strip in here. And looking at this, I may order another set um, and just get this done, um, you know, how I wanted it done. So we'll see. But I haven't put these back on yet because I'm, st I'm still working in here. I don't want to be sliding this shell, uh, the shell back and forth on the seals and messing them up. Uh, oh, and then from there how the topper is attached is basically uh up here the original owner of the shell had holes here and theirs was bolted straight to the bed the bed rails um so i use i just used um there's four holes i'm only using two and i set up my topper exactly where i needed it to be and on here there are also holes i drilled into you can see there's holes there and the, there i have four holes or three holes on here again i'm only using two and all i did was once i had the topper set in place where i needed it to i just drilled straight down into the two by four and uh and uh i had some uh leftover head bolts not served from some like a two out of four cylinder head bolts i just ran head bolts into them and bolted the topper down and it's it's been solid this two by four is stained it's been on there for seven or so years i've been running this setup for about seven years but you know trying to make something fit you're just doing what you had to, you know just kind of winging it and now that it's been used and tried and and it works i know it works um that's when i decided to redo it and update everything get all new seals find, uh, get it all sealed up correctly um so now oh the other thing is the there's you can see there's another two by four here so basically the topper does not sit flat against because this topper this area right here is supposed to sit against the tailgate or where the tailgate would close on but because this this not this uh, topper was not meant for a uh, tundra um i had to fill in the gap that was here so like i said this moves an inch and a quarter or inch and a half forward more and that left about exactly what this two by four is uh space around here and what that did was i just uh you can still see there's the the tailgate latch i kind of just routed out a section of the two by four and this thing wedges right in here perfectly flat and as you can see on this side that leaves you know you still have whatever a width of a two by four space here and a space here open and what i did was just added another two by four trim piece or piece up here um reason i haven't really figured out what i was going to do with this is because um i've been running it for like honestly that you get a little bit of dust and stuff through here uh never water just dust but to, in order to change the tail light bulbs these screws need to be accessed and i did not want this to be like fixed fixed um so if you look back here so once it's buttoned up and everything like that from the back this is what it looks like there's a two by four i had it um bolted or screwed some wood screws or whatever i think i don't know how i did this it's been so long um but once i had the swing outs and stuff on here no one really noticed that this was here or that i had a big old massive gap here uh, because i stained it dark it's like a cherry color but um now that i 
I'm probably gonna keep this set up. This is still gonna butt up, but the gap that you can see right here and the gap that I'm gonna get here when this is buttoned up against it, I plan on uh, fitting it with another piece of wood and and um, profiling it so it matches the, the truck bed and profiling it to match the topper. And then I'll spray paint it probably the same color as the topper so it looks like it's all finished and sealed. Um, yeah, and I'll be sealing it up as well as best I can. At least that's the goal. And then, uh, and that's how I was able to get this topper to fit. And also at the very front, you notice there's a massive gap there. It's because typically you have a bed liner. Let's see if I should get that. If you have a bed liner, once a bed liner is actually here, it matches up the top of the the, the bed uh, plastic caps. But I did not want to keep the bed liner in here because I have a carpet kit that goes in, a uh, bed rug. So I had to add a lot of... Uh, um, seal or uh, topper seal here to build up for it and to seal this area up which worked out pretty good so yeah that's where i'm at today um, i'm gonna try to get a lot of the wiring ran into here got um some power wires that run back here to a fuse block and i got my solar i got run into here as well that's already on top of the truck uh, so I gotta run those in here and um, on the other side is where I keep my air compressors. I got an air hose I gotta run through here. I'll be printing out another one of these fittings to fit uh, the air hose through there. And then uh, then I'll, I'll start getting everything else put back in here like it's supposed to be. All right, so I do uh, uh, sleep in this thing and I wanted as much insulation as I can. That was the whole point of the whole topper coming off was redoing the insulation. Um, this is a uh, half inch insulation. The R value of this stuff was not, is not that much. Um, and that's what I used, uh, along all the areas. It was this the first time around. Um, I guess it's only quarter inch, that looked like half inch, maybe it's half inch or quarter inch. I don't know what this is. Um, and since I was redoing it all, I ripped it all out and I went and got the one inch uh, and uh, more expensive. This is almost like a solid foam. This is like a styrofoam. Uh, I got that little balls and stuff like that. This stuff is like a solid um, insulation. So it's a lot more expensive <laughs> and higher R value on there. So the topper's all been redone with that and has the carpet kit put into it or I carpeted it uh, over that. And, um, but the bottom, I wasn't gonna redo it with this right here um, because of how much stuff I have going on here. It wasn't, I didn't feel like it was necessary. I don't wanna add any more height than I needed. So this normally goes on uh, first and then I have uh, another piece that goes on top than the carpet. All right, after the, the insulation board, I have another uh, half inch uh, particle board or plywood and I added, uh, I think these are called E-Tracks in certain spots. And then I have a carpet kit. I call it carpet kit, but it's just a bed rug that goes over all this. And uh, this particle board or the wood probably not, isn't necessary if you don't plan on having stuff tied down to it. I didn't want to have uh, these things drill through my bed and attach that way. Um, so I used this as the the attachment points for all my stuff if I needed to um, and then on the back side you can see there's the nuts and bolts I try to get them as flush as I could and then uh, since it sits on the insulation board it doesn't puncture or scratch the bed and it stays in place and it also adds another layer of uh, I guess insulation all right got the bed rug put in see right there bed rug so this bed rug I have a access cab tundra this bed rug are discontinued, so I can't get them anymore. I ended up finding this a long time ago. Um, at the time, I didn't know there was a difference between the access cab and, ton and double cab um, bed liners. Um, so when I picked this up, it was actually for a double cab. And you can see, let me see here. It's actually, um, well, you can see back there, see how much taller it is. That's how much taller the the bed, uh, the depth of the bed of the double cab is. Um, in my case, it worked out because if you remember, I had to extend the bed rails um, out and this allowed me to uh, fold the, the bed um, 
carpet under and then over and it allowed it to kind of finish it up um it's you can see it's not attached all the way yet all i did uh there's actually velcro on the back of these right here and i added these uh 3m dual locks on there and it just attaches on there um, i may have to redo these um or add some fasteners so actually i do have some here um that kind of screwed it in place and kept it there i've had this off for <laughs> over a year so it's just in my closet rolled up so it's going to take a little bit for this carpet to kind of resettle back in i used to have this thing fitted pretty tight and and snug um so it's going to take a little bit for it to kind of remold itself back in um, on the back here there's actually uh, the bed rug actually extends over to the tailgate and there's actually the tailgate piece here um, but since i don't have a tailgate i just folded it underneath and it added an extra you know cushion here at the front and also this extra lip to kind of cover up this gap i have here um and uh so yeah that's where we are now let's do a pull back with all the carpet and everything all right so since i don't run the the bed liner anymore and i kept the factory bed caps it creates a slightly uh gap here i've already added two strips of uh uh, uh what is it the bed seal or cap or topper seal already on here and i'm gonna have uh might need to add at least one more before i add that bubble seal that i did on the outside here where um it creates let's see if i can get a video since i went with the bubble seal it actually raised it up a little higher and then plus the plate that kind of just adds a little bit more to this gap here so i'm gonna add a couple more add one more strip of this uh seal i have here before i add the bubble seal maybe one or two more we'll see i gotta take a couple measurements and double check on that all right i got the bed seal put back uh put in i had to do i had originally had two uh seals oh, let me grab it oh. Originally I had, well, it wasn't exactly this one. It's similar to this, but it was a lot wider. And I was like, a, this is a little like foam, but it was like two rubber, or it was a rubber strip, a little bit wider. And I ran two up there already. And uh, on the top side, you always want the adhesive up and not down. Otherwise it water, you get water on it a lot easier. Um, so I had two of those strips ran out and had some of this stuff. I had to put two more of these on and then I had this uh, uh, double seal here and ran that underneath also upside down and it gave me the, the proper seal there. So I'm happy to uh, have this sealed up correctly. The first time I did this was a mess. Um, I just kept on layering after layer after layer of that just foam, that flat seal. Um, I didn't know about these bubble seals at the time um so hopefully these uh perform better and then on the outside out here you can see the same thing i did the bubble seal out here and i used uh a triple there's a triple and there's a double so there's a triple on the outside and underneath this on the bottom there's a there's a triple or a double and then uh, since there's a metal plate here sandwiching at the topper shell you can see there's a that rubber uh that single single uh rubber seal so that went underneath the topper and that's basically what i did under here i wish i had more of this stuff and did four of those here before i did that but ran out so it is what it is but yeah so that gives me that seal up here for the topper it's taped to the topper so if i ever need to take this off there's not all this uh it should last if i ever have to surface this and then the bulb seal here and then where the the seal here the seal here and this seal there where they meet usually your buddy of mine told me you're supposed to run a bead of silicone otherwise you get water intrusion i had my package that i bought uh, came with um with uh they, they call this stuff up like butyl tape it's basically uh it never like it's tacky it's almost like um if you ever had a i don't know it's just like a tacky uh same stuff they do on on uh, headlights uh, it's just butyl tape and i added some of the uh this 
at each of the corners here. So when it sandwiches down, it flexes and stuff. It's almost like a rubber, rubber, sticky tacky. What the memory? I don't know. So that's what it is. Um, so yeah, I've got that sealed up. Now I just gotta finish up my wiring in there, get my compressor fitted back in here. I already got the air hose ran um, through the bed through here using the uh, some printed printed uh, adapters there. And uh, yeah, that's where we are at. Can't wait to uh, try this thing out. Well, let me get this side closed up. So yeah, this is what it looks like.